Hi. In this video, we're going to give an overview of the challenges that we face in multiple object tracking. We can illustrate the challenges in MOT by considering an example involving an autonomous vehicle that is driving along a road. The vehicle has a sensor with a field of view illustrated by this circle segment. So to begin with, we have an unknown number of objects in the field of view. So in this particular example, we have four pedestrians in the field of view, two on each side of the road, and there are also two cars. And in addition to this, that we don't know the number of objects, we also don't know the states of the objects, so where they are located and where they are going. And you should know that MOT is often restricted to tracking the objects that are inside the field of view of the sensors. And the reason for this is uh, fairly obvious. We cannot track an object if we cannot detect it. And naturally, we can only detect objects that are inside the field of view. To make things even more complicated, we must take into account that objects move around. They move in different directions with different speeds. Some objects are moving straight ahead, other objects are turning. So in this example, we've illustrated this movement by these dashed arrows. And because the objects move, some of them disappear from the field of view, they leave the field of view, and in this example, we've highlighted with a red ellipsis one of the cars and one of the pedestrians that are about to leave the field of view. And of course, objects might also appear in the field of view, meaning that they enter the field of view. So here we have two pedestrians and one car that are about to enter the field of view. And in target tracking literature, object appearance and object disappearance is often referred to as object birth and object death, respectively. So if you come across object birth and death in some tracking literature, you should know that it just refers to objects appearing and disappearing. It does not refer to any actual birth or death. And we are also challenged by the fact that sometimes objects occlude other objects. In this example, we have a pedestrian, again highlighted by a red ellipsis, that is from the sensor's point of view, hidden behind the car. And because the pedestrian is hidden or occluded, it cannot be detected. And lastly, a general challenge in MOT is that the detectors that we employ are imperfect. And this means that they are susceptible to two kinds of errors, misdetections and false detections. And we will learn more about this next.